Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. people so dedicated to the task at hand. I got bills to pay. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers, and on me, a new grooming brush, and some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Not bad, Arthur. You happy? Well, I guess we'll see. Boo! Boy. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know, but it's done. Has been for a while now. 
Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Uh, I never would. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Ha! I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. We'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. You just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me.
You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on air meat. Hurry up so we can get going. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Back up, Arthur, and let's get after it. Okay, let's go. Let's go, boy. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. Staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, 
Dung, bones, any sign of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? Tracks, go into those trees. Eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Damn it. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or... We could place bait here. That could work. Which you think? Arthur? Come on. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. No, it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. 
<laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going, then. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it was a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon, look into something. See you later. You know, we, we ain't supposed to have all horses good. and cows. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. Okay, okay, say no more. Okay then, Arthur. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. Hosea. Hey. Morning, Arthur. You okay, Abigail? Settling in. Mr. Morgan, I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. Thank you, but you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. How far are you falling, River? Please, Mr. Morgan, not now. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm-hmm. How are you doing? How do you think I'm doing? I'm sorry. 
Just let me know if there's anything I can do. Morning, Arthur. <clears throat> Will you stop moping around and do some proper work? Don't start with me, please. there. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. I reckon I'm gonna think about it. We're gonna run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. Good, we really needed this. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> I am mighty glad to be out of that cold, Mr. Morgan. Me too. Oh. I am getting too old for this gallivant. <laughs> Me too. Arthur! Yeah? Huh. How you... What? Listen. We're gonna be okay. If you say so, what about the money? Back at Blackwater. Now is not the time for doubters. I ain't a doubter nor a believer. I ain't nothing. So you keep saying. Next time, Arthur, try faith. Try faith. Good morning. You missing your tree yet? I feel like chopping it down. We'll all be watching you. So that feller who was hassling you in Valentine. I'll tell you another time, okay? Okay, sure. Well, don't mind me, Tilly. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Hello, Arthur. How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we gonna hit that bank I told you about? We'll see.
Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? <sighs> Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The Outlaw's Trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nice. You liked her, didn't you, kid? Okay, let's have some fun. Don't worry. I already sent a wire to the doctor for you. Ah, shit! Ooh. Come on, don't do this to yourself. Yeah. Proper player. Damn, I better go. My hand is killing Later. Yes, Arthur? You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Okay there? Dandy, how are you? Well, they haven't killed me yet. Uh, Who ain't? The boys around here. They act tough. They're good boys, mostly. It's the most thing I'm scared about. Huh? Don't be. You'll be fine. You're in the bus now. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? 
Why? I'll cut you in. Loan it. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. It goes without saying. Uh, what am I going to do? You're going to suffer. <laughs> and life's going to go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. Miss <laughs> Robert. Where am I going to go? Stay here with us. <laughs> oh, thing ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. Huh? You'll be safe here. <laughs> At least for now. Turn your back on your feet properly. Thank you. Well, hello, Arthur. Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. For where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? Hello, Arthur. Hey, Bill. Did you find much in the O'Driscoll's cabin? We did all right out of it. Just no comb. Hey. Not you again. Yep.
Hey! Need a hand with your horse? Oh! Yeah. <coughs> Shit. There we go. What do you want? I'm guessing you ain't here to work. You chick? I was told I could find a chick Matthews up here. Chick Matthews? You might want to talk to that fella over there. Now, I'm just here to work for the season. Chick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to get me angry, boy.
okay there. What happened? My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. My legs oh, are numb. See what I can do. Please hurry. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Well, thank sure. you. You saved me. Okay. Oh, that was bad. Sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or Mind out. eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. We'll need to go on a horse. Uh, my leg can't handle the walk. Come on, boy. Why'd you just mount?
Is something the matter? travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman. Lord! I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. Hey, this is the wrong town. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... Odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Taking a long time. Right, boy. We're close now. Just a little further. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Who's this then? Yeah, well. Oh, 
Okay, boy. Yeah. Look at what we snagged! Dutchy's dog, buddy! Oh, I told you he's so! Shit! 